Hi, I'm Dr. Rowan Plotz, a lecturer in environmental science at Victoria University in Melbourne, Australia. My research area is in behavioural ecology and I spend a lot of time studying interactions between species. One of the interactions that has fascinated me the most is the ability of animals to listen to the alarm calls of other animals. To help protect themselves from predators, many animal species will eavesdrop on the alarm calls that are made by members of their own or indeed other species. The first and perhaps most well-known example many of us think of are social mammals like meerkats with their organised sentry lookouts warning other family members of an approaching hawk or other danger where a well-timed alarm call sends everyone scurrying back inside their burrows. While it's not hard to understand why animals eavesdrop, we don't yet know whether the capacity to do so is driven more by an animal's vulnerability to predators or whether an animal first needs to be a social or highly vocal species to be able to make alarm call predator associations. Solitary and non-vocal species can also be driven to eavesdrop because of their increased vulnerability to predation, but the evidence so far is limited. Better experimental tests are needed to measure a benefit to eavesdropping, although this is very difficult to do in the wild with free-ranging animals. In Africa, two regularly interacting species, the red-billed oxpecker and the black rhino, provided us with a unique experimental opportunity to test for the benefits of eavesdropping by a rhino. Black rhino are critically endangered because of being hunted by people, suffering a dramatic 99% decline since the 1850s. Oxpeckers are a group living bird well known for feeding on the ticks and ectoparasites of rhino and other mammals. Perhaps less well known is that the indigenous Swahili name for the bird is Askari Wakifaru, which translates as the rhino's god. The ability of rhino to eavesdrop on oxbreak alarm calls remains an untested hypothesis. As part of a three-year PhD field study in Kukluwe and Falozi Park in Zululand in South Africa, I was lucky to be able to insert horn implant VHF radio transmitters into the horns of 14 black rhino. This allowed me to use radio telemetry to regularly track and observe these rhino on foot. To test this association in the wild, we set up two field experiments, where first we tested if oxpeckers improved rhino's ability to evade people undetected by comparing the rates of oxpeckers on rhino that we found with and without the aid of horn implant radio transmitters. To do this, we recorded the number of oxpeckers seen on rhino without radio transmitters during our searches that we compared with the number of oxpeckers seen on the 14 rhino fitted with radio transmitters that we found using radio telemetry. If oxpeckers were acting as anti-human sentinels for rhino, we predicted that the tagged rhino that we could stalk undetected would be more likely to have oxpecker present compared to the untagged rhino. We found that tagged rhino had oxpecker present more than half of all occasions, 56%, while untagged rhino, only 17% of occasions did they have oxpeckers. From this, we were able to estimate that oxpeckers helped rhino avoid human detection by us in about 40 to 50% of potential encounters. In our second field experiment, we used our tagged rhino with radio transmitters to conduct 86 human approach trials to rhino with and without oxpeckers present. To help visualise whether our approaches coincided with oxpeck alarm calling and eavesdropping behaviour by black rhino, we imagined that an analogue clock surrounded the rhino, where the rhino was in the middle and the numbers of the clock surrounded it. And we used these numbers to determine rhino's orientation relative to wind and the human approach directions. What we found supported our first field experiment in that rhino not only eavesdropped on oxbreaker alarm calls, but detected the approaching human at greater distances than rhino that did not have oxpeckers. Human detection by rhino went from 23% at an average distance of 27 metres without oxpeckers to 100% of the time at an average distance of 61 metres when oxpeckers were present. Most intriguing of all was that rhino alerted by oxpeck alarm calls reorientated to face downwind. The direction that rhino cannot smell other animals including humans, because the scent is being blown away from them. Rhinos are virtually blind, barely able to see more than a few meters in front of them. And so their sensory blind spot is downwind, the direction that humans mostly approach from when hunting, big game like rhino. Our study confirms the indigenous name of the oxpecker, the rhino's god. Most rhino populations now exist without oxpeckers today. Conservationists might in fact consider reintroducing oxpeckers back into rhino populations. 
to reinstate a proven anti-human sentinel for black rhino, especially where park security fails to deter poachers. Lastly, our field experiments confirm that a solitary living species without a complex vocal ability do eavesdrop on another species' alarm calls. Vulnerability alone and not sociality appears to be enough for the evolution of eavesdropping.